Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, we got Ashanti and Keisha Cole, offset on the vaccine, blessed are the peacemakers like 21 Savage, Azalea Banks on Kim K, and what did Kanye step into this time? Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to give us a like if you smile at any part of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you've seen any of our previous videos and forgot to hit it then. Hey yo, I wanted to give a shout out to, uh, I think they're called The Truth, right? They came through with a comment that says something along the lines of, since when does talking about coochie bring women empowerment i'm so tired of people like j-lo or this girl selling sex and calling it women empowerment kudos to kim k who's attending college pursuing a law degree women empowerment is educating yourselves showing yourself and whoever is looking the best you striving to be a better you remaining classy not trashy like and then they went through a whole list of people wow okay Respect and empowerment is not selling sex, dancing on stripper poles, or talking about a wrinkle behind coochie. There's your remix, Snoop. Difference between a hoe and a lady, for real. A lady never puts herself in a hoe category. Yo, if you don't like what the truth said, I mean, you know, I mean, like, all I could do, like, you don't see me, but I'm shrugging, right? Like, yo, man, if you don't like what, what they said, then, you know, whatever. Now, first on deck. A lot of folks were waiting, right, for Saturday night's uh, December 12th versus battle between Ashanti and Keisha Cole. And it was apparently supposed to go down. But the versus battle had to be canceled because Ashanti has tested positive. That's right, you know, for the Rona. The lovely lady found herself on social media letting us know that not only did she have the Rona, but she still wanted to continue on with the versus battle when she stated, hey, y'all quote hey y'all i can't believe i'm saying this but i tested positive for covid19 i'm okay and not in any pain i'm actually down to do the verses from my house we're trying to figure it all out close quote now fat joe even showed up on the gram saying prayers for my sis ashanti saria keisha cole we'll, we'll get to it in january on january 9th um with the praying hands closed quote ashanti little lady don't you worry your flawless little head about us all right pain or no pain recover okay the, the slightest sense of breathing issues that you have get your behind to the hospital you know what i mean let them know don't try to weather the storm okay and speaking on the rona artist offset is not going for the whole we found a vaccine and now we about to hit y'all with that medicine <laughs> can you blame them from marion sims to the tuskegee syphilis study lots of folks feel super skeptical dealing with a government that notoriously known that is notoriously known to mistreat dare i say exploit its minorities now he also pointed out that wealthy and powerful people like himself and barack obama who offered to take the vaccine on live tv are more likely to get better treatment if anything does go wrong with the vaccine which is super interesting statement to say now couple that with the fact that the fda did report that four people who took the pfizer vaccine experienced bell's palsy but the condition does not appear to be linked to the treatment oh really the cdc announced friday that there's no known expected casual relationship between the vaccine and bell's palsy but that um, it will be monitor monitoring for the condition. Now, the FDA also reported that the instances of Bell's palsy were considered consistent with the expected background rate in the general population, and there's no clear basis upon which to conclude a causal relationship at this time. You're probably on some old, what the hell's Bell's palsy? Well, since you asked, right, it displays itself as a sudden weakness in the muscles on one half of the face. So I guess it looks yeah, akin to some kind of a stroke or something like that or facial paralysis you're like oh nah f that yo <laughs> look i feel you man i feel i feel what you're saying right and i feel what offset is saying as well but what if he's wrong and you follow what he's saying see what i'm saying like it's a jacked up situation either way man we reported to you yesterday a video that involved the back and forth that took place between meek mill and ak now you know some kind of group chat type thing called clubhouse something like that i mean you know, all the little kids is using it nowadays right basically meek and ak were discussing each other's impact on the culture yeah look i heard it i found it to be a rather unusual dialogue i was kind of frustrated to say the least my man said if i post myself and my people with guns and you repost it you're 
an op. <laughs> you know, I, I'm. You know, I'm on probation. Is what he says. That, see, that's the kind of logic. Like something doesn't sit right with me about that. That kind of reasoning is not what's hitting in the streets, bro. Look, someone came through in our comment section and they made a, a very interesting statement. They said it was somebody by the name of Rich Habits. They said, AK ain't the problem. It's the rappers. It's not rocket science. How can you tell a blogger to not report what you rap about? Meek and these other artists blaming AK for these killings is the most lame excuse I've seen. And threatening AK indirectly on camera about your young boys from Philly is very smart. If something happens to AK, you're the first person being snatched up for Rico and your minion fan base gonna swear people telling on you, but you told on yourself. Not to mention, you lumped Dirk into it, so that lets the feds know Dirk and his affiliates have a problem with AK. <laughs> LOL. You gotta love the internet where rappers tell on themselves and blame the ops. Rich Habits. That's a very, very fascinating um, way of talking about it. This is what Rich said now. Now, look, if, if I repeat the words, right, that you said, and people heard me when I said it, the problem ain't the fact that I said it, you said it. Now, 21 Savage did come from another angle, which I do respect. He essentially said something along the lines of, if I said something in front of three people and you repeated it in front of 50, <laughs> you may have just exacerbated or aroused any subtle tensions that may have existed. I could get with that, man. He also took the position of, um, everyone is guilty you see what i'm saying and props for wisdom and I, I respect 21 for that in, in a situation like that and props to 21 but matter of fact why don't you listen to a little bit about what 21 had to say on that take a listen i feel like god like what do y'all think you know what i mean i'm trying to give y'all what y'all want but y'all keep asking pretty much the same things i've kind of answered um let me see what else in terms of like regrets Fuck with nah, niggas. Man. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Don't, don't, you don't gotta go. Through. You, nigga. Fuck what niggas want, yeah. nigga. You don't gotta go through no list of your regrets and shit, bro. But hey, at the end of the day, bro, all this internet shit is new to all of us. So we all just learning as we go. We ain't never been in, been in these times where, like, it's cool. It's so cool to kill and it's so cool to beef. Shit ain't never been like this. So all the niggas saying is, bro, we all attribute to that. Whether we want to admit it or not, we all play some part in the way shit is nowadays because we all are the people that profit off of it. You just got to start showing that you give a fuck and that you want to change too. Because a nigga like me, I could rap about what I rap about and never do nothing and just be like, man, I don't give a fuck, whatever, whatever, and just live my life. But I have a heart, bro. And at the end of the day, I know you got a heart because I know you. So I know... You don't go to sleep at night and just be like, fuck it. So with that being said, just display that, bro. Let's try and do shit better. We ain't telling you to stop posting beef because you not posting beefs ain't going to end no beefs at the end of the day. And it, you ain't starting beefs. You just you just putting a light on. You putting yeah. a light on beefs that don't need a light put on them because if that light is on them, them beefs might do disappear. If a nigga say something to me and it's 50 niggas around, and if a nigga say something to me and it's one nigga around, I might react a different way. If it's one nigga around and you do some disrespectful shit, I might just holler at you. But if it's 50 niggas around, it might be a nigga around me that don't want to do no talking. You see that, man? Yo, much props to Savage for being the most level-headed individual in the room, in my opinion, and for being a mediator in the discussion. You see what I'm saying? Uh, respect, much respect for that. Azalea Banks, not, notwithstanding the bullish slaughtered chicken ceremonies that surround your girl and what sounds like the strong dislike of black men in her music, but musically, right? I like her music, like m melodically, m melodiously, I don't know the word. This is what I get for making fun of that girl that tried to ruin my boy's relationship. The sound of her music, to me, is tight, but her antics, man. Folks will call it toxic. Your girl has now come for Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, which I find to be interesting. When self-proclaimed witch Lana Del Rey came for the women in hip hop and folks were tagging Azalea like, please jump in. She was all nice about it to everyone's dismay. It's like when you need her to bring that type of energy, she don't. But if you're walking down the street lacking, she jumping out off a rooftop cutting your ish up. Kim Kardashian decided to model uh, what looks like some undergarments and focused on the shapewear lines comfort now upon seeing the images of kim k azalea banks jumped on the offensive out of nowhere saying quote it is really time for kim k 
to retire this beat up coochie. She, she has like four kids. Well, well, two, right, if I'm correct. And, and she's married. It will be different if everyone has had a go. Anyway, she continued on to say, it just looks worn the F out. Nothing about this big beaver she has in this photo is even remotely sexy. Terrible advertising clothes quote. I'm gonna have to stop you right there, big sis. Okay. Yes, your music is hot, right? But as far as I understand, the bigger the... Forget it. Let, let me try to have some class. Most men, Ms. Banks, would disagree with you on that particular assessment, respectfully. She added on, quote, Kanye, this is all your fault, close quote. K Kanye, don't listen to her, man. That's your wife. Your body belongs to her. Her body belongs to you. Yeah, I'm old school. You see what I'm saying? If they can, right, men should willingly want to be providers and protectors of women. <laughs> you disagree? Fight me. Oh, you can't. You know why? That's right. I'm just a voice. And finally, speaking of Kanye, right? Kanye's like that cousin you like. Yeah, yeah he talk crazy sometimes, but that, that's my cousin. That's my dog. Then he come out the house with them, uh, them ugly Yeezys on, and you like, damn, man, I'm trying to help this dude. And he keep coming out the house with them things on, bro. Look, we've got a peek of the Yeezy collection. And as you could imagine, it's absolutely terrifying. Do you see these things? Imagine walking into your house, right? At dusk, locking the door behind you, turning around and seeing these things in the middle of the floor. Absolute silence. All you hear when you lock eyes with these things are horns, horns of horror, deep horns. Like when you turn on the light and Jason is standing in the middle of the room. Like if you jumped off a bridge into a huge bowl of milk and it splashed onto your black sneakers in slow motion and you paused it mid splash. It's like, it's like someone put a gun to your head and told you to take your new black sneakers and walk through melted marshmallows. And your mom's told you if you get them new sneakers dirty, first day i'm gonna kill you then you came home with these joints on it's like that regular show episode right where the only way to enter the club is to put a garbage bag over your body because that's what's hot in the streets now you see what i'm saying these things yo let us know what you think would you spend four hundred dollars on these ugly yeezys I i'm sorry i shouldn't have said that on these the on these Yeezys, would you spend the money on those? Uh, 21 Savage playing, uh, um, matter of fact, that whole situation when it comes down to these artists putting themselves out there and then blaming the blogger, uh, who's really wrong on that? I, I think I might've asked y'all that before. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, be, oh, yo, and please let me know. When that vaccine comes out, that coronavirus vaccine, what you think is gonna really happen? Are you gonna take it? I mean, here's my thing. I can see them pulling the whole, you know, like the measles, mumps, and rubella. Like, yo, yeah, your, your kid can't come to school unless they got a vaccination, sucker. So what you gonna do about that, hammer? You see what I'm saying? They might come at you like that. I don't know. What you gonna do? You gonna make your kids get it because they can't go to school otherwise? You know you don't want to teach them kids, man. You know what it was like the last couple of months. Stop playing. You know, you're gonna probably send your kid to get that vaccine. Otherwise, you're just gonna be doing that remote learning at the Crizzo for Dolo with your baby. And you know how that went. Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.